Hello everybody, you found me in my kitchen. I was just about to bake some cookies. Well, that reminded me of a book. I tell you what, shall I tell you a story first? I'm glad you said yes, because I'm going to read The Doorbell Rang by Pat Hutchins. So, let's find the beginning of the story. And we have some children with their mum. I've made some cookies for tea, said Ma. Good, said Victoria and Sam. We're starving. Share them between yourselves, said Ma. I've made plenty. That's six each, said Sam and Victoria. They look as good as Grandma's, said Victoria. Mm, they smell as good as Grandma's said Sam. No one makes cookies like Grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Ding dong. It was Tom and Hannah from next door. Come in, said Ma. You can share the cookies. That's three, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as Grandma's, said Tom, and look as good, said Hannah. No one makes cookies like Grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Ding dong! It was Peter and his little brother. Come in, said Ma, you can share the cookies. That's... Two each, said Victoria and Sam. Oh, they look as good as your grandma, said Peter, and smell as good. Nobody makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Ding dong. It was Joy and Simon with their four cousins. Come on in, said Mum. You can share the cookies. That's one each, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as your grandma, said Joy. And look as good, said Simon. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma. As the doorbell rang. Ding dong. Oh no, are there going to be enough cookies to go round? And rang. Ding dong, ding dong. What are the children going to do, and Mum? Who's at the door? Oh dear, said Ma as the children stared at the cookies on their plates. Perhaps you'd better eat them before we open the door. We'll wait, said Sam. It was Grandma with an enormous tray of cookies. How nice to have so many friends to share them with, said Grandma. It's a good thing I made a lot. And no one makes cookies like Grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Ding dong. I do like that story, but I'm not sure if I can make enough cookies. I tell you what, I wonder if you can make some this week of your home learning if I send you the recipe. And while you're doing it, maybe you can do some maths. So I've got a bit of a challenge. So I have some biscuits. Shall we see how many I've got? Can you help me count? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I've got some more. I've got four more. Eight and four more. I wonder how many that's going to be. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cookies. To begin with, I've got 
two children coming to tea. How can I work out how many cookies each? I'm going to have to share them like one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Oh, I've shared them in half to two exactly the same amounts. So the children have got six cookies each. But what if the other two people came? Okay. How am I going to work that one out? I wonder if you can solve that problem and let me know.